Hey, what's going on guys? All right, as you can see, it's a lot nicer out here than it's been for a while. It's finally not raining. It's got a nice breeze to it. Sun's out, big and beautiful. But um, yes, yeah, so I'm gonna be messing around out in the shed today. I figure uh, it'd be a good time to get some uh, little fire starters made up. I'm gonna make about three different kinds so I can uh, take them out on my next couple trips, test out which ones I like better. Um, I'm gonna make some sawdust and wax ones, some lint ones in the paper towel rolls, and then uh, I'm experimenting with uh, my first time with paper logs. So uh, I got a lot of prep work to do. So um, I'm gonna do that for a little while and then come back when I'm all ready and I'll show you guys how I do it. And then at the end, We'll uh, do a little demonstration, burn a couple of them, see which ones I like the best. Alright, so I sat out here for a while getting some uh, stuff together. So you can see I got... Uh, Got a bunch of shredded paper, swept the floor up, got, got some sawdust. It's enough sawdust for uh, the few that I'm gonna do and the paper should suffice. Um, I'm not doing giant logs, so a half a five gallon bucket should be good. I'm gonna run outside, top it off, and then I got a big bit so I can start uh, you know, mixing, mixing the paper up, try to start getting it in the pulp, even though I'm gonna have to let it soak for a little while. So I'm gonna start this one first and uh, it'll soak while I'm doing everything else. So um, yeah, I'm gonna run it over to the hose now and get her filled up and then uh, mix her up. All right, I just filled my bucket up with water. Now the next thing is to run my bit and then I'm gonna mix it up, add a little sawdust to it, flour. Some people say flour works, works to help uh, everything stick together. But uh, let's try it. All right, so as you can see, got everything nice and pulpy. Now I'm gonna dump the sawdust in, and then uh, a little bit of flour. I'm gonna give it a good another mix. All right, so I just mixed that up. Now I got mesh mesh screen on a little tabletop. Lay that out. I'm gonna try to get all the moisture out of that, well, most of it, while I mess with everything else. All right, now the next one uh, I'm gonna get started on is the sawdust ones, and they are really as simple as it can get. Now, just a couple of uh, muffin cups, 
and all I did was fill them with sawdust. Now, I got my candles, went around the house and found all the half burnt candles that I have, and uh, I'm just gonna melt them down and drizzle them on top. All right, so I'm gonna try to do this without getting wax all over any like uh, pots or pans or anything like that. So I got a little torch, got a little metal tin, some vice, vice grips on it, and uh, start cutting up chunks of candles bent a little spout. All I'm gonna do is heat it up and ladle it onto the muffin, the muffin sawdust things. All right. slow so it doesn't boil up in my face. Got a little bit more. piece with the wick. Get that out of there. Another chunk of candle. I'm just going to melt the rest of this down. And Need a little bit more. Alright, you can see the wax, I'm going to let them cool down, 
and uh, let the smoke clear out of this because uh, I've never really done that before and it didn't go as smooth as I thought it would. All right, guys, so I'm back out here with my pulp. Now, I'll show you what I got here. I got just two, two smaller buckets, not five gallon. I cut a piece of wood, exact fit for the bottom of the bucket. Now the reason I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna fill this bucket up with the pulp and this will serve as a, you know, a, a little divot in it so it'll be easier to break in half because there's gonna be, you know, you're not gonna need one that big. So uh, I'm just gonna fill some pulp into these buckets. Make sure it's all down in there nice and good. Now I should be able to get two out of what I did. So what I'm gonna do now is now that that's all down in there and I got that piece of wood down in there. I'm gonna take this bucket and just do one of these. Actually, I'm gonna put some more in there. Oh. All right, that should, that should be enough. And then, I'm just gonna put weight down on it. I'm All right, so now I got the sawdust ones done and I got the pulp ones um, drying out right now. So uh, I actually don't have as much lint as I thought I'd have. Um, Surprisingly, the lint, the lint thing in the dryer is uh, pretty damn clean. So I got enough, I'm just gonna make a, one small one so I can at least get the demonstration for you guys. So uh, simply cut the uh, toilet paper roll in half, shove the lint in. I use my, my knife and my trusty ladle. Just gonna Fill her up with some wax. Oh yeah, just scrape it in there like butter. All right, got enough in there. You guys are probably laughing at me for doing it this way. See what the bottom looks like. Bottom looks pretty good, could use a little bit of wax. All right, cheers. All right, let's light these puppies up.
All right, that one seems to be going good so far. Let's try this guy. Taking a little longer for the paper, toilet paper roll to catch. That muffin stuff burnt right up. All right, they both uh, seem to be working pretty dang good. I'm not even going to bother with the paper, uh, the paper cone that I made because um, it's nowhere near dry enough to burn. But um, yeah, both of these easy to make, and I I recommend them. Sawdust one I probably like a lot more, but uh, I mean, who doesn't have lint and who doesn't have uh, toilet paper rolls? Or at least I hope everybody has toilet paper rolls. Otherwise, something else is going on. But uh, but yeah. Everything looks good. All right, see you guys.